So let's review the two different methods that we showed to help you know how to multiply and divide positive and negative numbers. The first is a tic-tac-toe board. You put positive signs going diagonal and negative signs everywhere else. What this means is, let's say we do negative times a negative, that gives you positive. Positive times a negative gives you negative. You can go any direction. When you multiply or divide positive, you get positive. When you multiply or divide a positive and negative, negative. Then you also have the triangle. Make a T inside of it, a plus up top, minuses everywhere else. So when you multiply or divide two negatives, that leaves you with a positive. When you multiply or divide a positive and a negative, you're left with a negative. A negative and a positive, you're left with a negative. Basically, it's like this. If the signs are the same, you're going to get a positive answer. So pause your screen, maybe in the back of your book or on a piece of scratch paper, try these four problems. All right, so number one, I'm going to draw the triangle. Again, you could use tic-tac-toe also. So the plus goes up top, negatives everywhere else. All right, so number one, we have positive six times negative eight. A positive times a negative leaves you with a negative. So the answer here will be negative 6 times 8 is 48. Okay, number 2, negative 5. Remember the parentheses tell you to multiply times negative 9. Two negatives leaves you with a positive answer. 5 times 9 gives you 45. For number 3, we're going to work left to right. So we have negative 5 times negative 3. Two negatives leaves you with a positive, so that gives you 15 times negative 1 times 3. So I dropped the parentheses there and just put the dot instead, but you could bring the parentheses down too if you wanted. Okay, so positive 15 times negative 1. Positive times a negative gives you a negative, so that's negative 15 times positive 3. Negative and a positive give you a negative, so your final answer will be negative. 15 times 3 is 45. So number 4, remember the fraction bar is the same thing as division. So it's the same thing as saying 63 divided by negative 9. A positive divided by a negative gives you a negative. 63 divided by 9 is 7. All right, so let's try this example by modeling on the number line. So I like to say that my groups go first and groups will always be positive. So we're gonna say that we have three groups of negative two. So I'm gonna draw, I'll use the tic-tac-toe this time. So positives diagonal, negatives everywhere else. Positive three times negative two. Positive times a negative gives you a negative Three times two is six. So my number line, I'm going to start at zero, come over here to negative six, three groups of negative two. So this would be one group right here, two groups, and three groups. All right, so division number lines. These are the only number lines not starting at zero. For every other number line, we started at zero and then went either right or left. So I remember a division. I say total divided by number of groups. So in this case, we have a total of 15 and three groups. And that tells you the number in each group. I'm going to go all the way out here to 15 for my total. 
Okay. So the total's taken care of. Now let's look at the number of groups. So there needs to be three groups. And 15 divided by 3 gives you 5. So that means that each group is going to have 5 in it. So here's one group. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Your arrows are going towards 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So again, division is the only one that doesn't start at 0.